All right, ladies, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction 2.0, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about why the tactics that why dating why dating advice may not be working on you. And this is something that you see very often, especially with people who are just starting using these tactics, particularly with men, when they use tactics to get women, but it never works on them. And there's a there's a big reason why it doesn't work, all right? So I'm going to explain to you guys why. A lot of the times, you got to be willing to pay the price. That's the first step, all right? Is being willing to be able to pay the price of admission, which is these tactics are not meant to force the issue, but rather to inspire the issue, to inspire what you want out of the guy. So in other words, you cannot make a guy love you, but you could definitely bring it out of him if the potential was there. Humans are not you, humans are not a creature that you can just manipulate. You, humans are people that you, you can influence. Now, the, the circumstances that you create will definitely make it so that it will either work or not work. But the point is that you cannot really control humans. That's the first thing, being able to pay the price because he may not like you. For example, when I teach you guys that you gotta that you gotta create space, a lot of the space is not just to make him miss you, but to also help you illuminate to you the, he, what what the reality is that he may not like you. And a lot of the times, a lot of women have this thing that, I, that, that Tyler from RZ used to call reverse supplication, which is, you apply you act like you're not interested just to get a response from them all right and that's not that's not going to work because what's going to happen is that you're going to say things but to get a reaction for example it's kind of like saying a joke you say a joke like like saying what's the worst time to have a heart attack and you and you're like during the game of trades ha 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 and you can laugh right but then the reverse application is saying a joke like saying what's the worst time to have a heart attack and then like during a game of trades, you laugh, you laugh, right? But then you have an eye open, seeing that the person is laughing. Like you're not just saying a joke because it's funny to you. You're saying it just to get a reaction. So a lot of this is observing yourself wanting to force the issue. Because if that's the case, then none of this is going to work because the guys are going to be able to see through it. They're going to see your intentions. They're going to see through little subtle things that you communicate. That in reality, you're acting, that you're doing this just to get them to become attracted to you. So the way to hide those things, those signals that you're communicating is not through working harder to hide them because the harder you work to hide it, the harder you work to suppress it, the more it's going to show. But rather what you have to do is observe yourself really looking for an outcome and then letting go of the outcome. Being okay with him not liking you because that's the point of all of this is not to just bring out the attraction but also to reveal it without trying to alter it. Now, if you act like you're not interested, if you if you if you back off and he's not really interested, that's when you got to use the part of the spiritual practice, which is to say observing yourself wanting the reaction, observing yourself wanting him to love you. You see what I'm saying? And 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 if you're unconscious of that, you're going to continue to try and get him to like you. And you may try you may try to consciously convince yourself that you don't like him, but deep down your actions has an underlying intention which is you need that reaction or else you're going to go crazy. And if if you don't get that reaction guess what you get even needier you you you, you supplicate even more through trying more tactics and you know what you, you know what you begin to do right you begin to be overwhelming you begin to be forceful about the issue and that's all because you're looking for an outcome so you got to be able, you got to be willing to pay the price you got to be willing to accept that he may not really like you you see because the best to really to be really attractive is not about getting everyone to like you but rather being able to be okay with somebody not liking you that's what real confidence is all about it's not about making people like you but rather being okay with not being liked because they don't define you and the issue is that if you don't understand this concept you're going to be continually going through from pain to pain because you're continually going to be you're going to continually be rejected and that's how it is man you got to be able to Pay the price and know what you're getting yourself into. Know that he may reject you. Know that you 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 may not you may not get the outcome that you have in mind. And if, and if you're not okay with that, then there's your, your your the door for you to practice the spiritual practice, which is observing the neediness in you. Because when you notice yourself wanting the, the, a reaction, right? Most people try to get more reaction to try to um, change that reality that they don't like you. But in this case, I want you to observe yourself wanting a reaction because what's going to happen you're going to be you're going to begin to slowly dissolve those patterns that have perpetually kept you in an immature and and in rudimentary state which is needing somebody to make you happy as a child you needed your parents to make you happy like when you were a baby you 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 felt hungry guess what you screamed and suddenly a, an imaginary hand came and gave you some food in, in life that's not how it is in life you cannot complain your way out of your problems but because you, most people stay in that state, which is needing other people to make them happy, they have an immature emotional, um, emotional intelligence. They have low, low emotional intelligence. 
So to bring self-awareness to your neediness, to bring self-awareness to your sources of happiness by observing them and detaching yourself from the outcome, even if it's good, even if actually good things are happening, you want to detach yourself from it. Because when things go bad, which is inevitable, which is inevitable, you're gonna suffer. You see that? You notice how I am with the, my comments, like, and we like, I, 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 people who know me know that I try not to make this part a big part of my life of the YouTube channel. I try not to derive too much pride, too much, um, too much um, validation from it. Because if I do, then I'm gonna be relegated to what happens when I don't get the validation. I'm gonna try harder. And you gotta be aware of that. And most people are not aware of that. And that's an issue. That's a big issue. Um, but yeah, that's how it is, yo. Like, I'm at Prospect Park right here. It's actually a nice day. Um, this is actually where I was raised. Actually, I may walk around with you guys. Let's walk around. Give me a second. My book bag is dirty as hell. And I may go to another location. Um, but yeah, um, I got this concept from the book, um, Jack Canfield. What's this book called? It's, um... The success principles, where he was talking about, you gotta be willing to pay the price. You know, you gotta be willing to, you gotta be willing to know what you're getting yourself into whenever you play this game. That he may not like you. You know what I'm saying? He may not like you. He may not be. Um, let's go ahead. He may not be really attracted to you. He may lose interest, and you gotta, and you gotta be okay with that. Because if you're not okay with that, then it just shows you that it, it's just it's a telltale sign that. What's going to happen is only going to be a short-term solution, even if you get them to like you. It's going to be a short-term solution. Why? Because you're going to get the validation. You're going to get the validation. I need some invites. What the fuck? I'm hungry. You're going to get the validation. And as soon as you stop getting the validation, you're going to go back to that same pattern of looking for validation. And that really doesn't make you happy. So you got to end that. You got to end that. Um, you got to end. I'm sorry. I need to look at this. Oh, just okay. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> but you got to be willing to be okay with the guy not liking you and rejecting you. And once you're there, then you're able to use a lot of these tactics. Then you're able to actually give him space. Then you're able to actually like just use these tactics without having an underlying having underlying neediness. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this is Alex from MindfulAttraction.org. Um, this is it for me today. Um, if you guys want to stay, I'm gonna be recording this while I skate. You guys could watch me do this. It's actually nice. This is actually where I was raised, where I, where I played baseball when I was a little kid, when I was a beautiful child. Um, it's a nice day today, yo. I don't know. I think they could be doing like a little festival today. Look at that. That's why. That's why I play baseball. Every every weekend I used to play baseball here. Kind of crazy. And they're still doing it too. It's an awesome part. There's always something going on in this park. Always. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little view and um, I may make more videos or I may not make more videos today. Who knows? Take care.